going on? So, what we're getting into is trimming the fretboards to fit the necks. And, uh, just for posterity's sake, you can see Necks are exactly the same width and exactly the same length. Because everything's got to be the same. And what I'm using to trim the fretboards with, <coughs> I don't need those. <laughs> Got this little jig I made up. <clears throat> now I've put some double face tape on the necks and pressed the fretboard down on just to hold it so when I flip it over I could draw the, the lines along the side. And I got the lines for one. And what I got is a couple of toggle clamps here. And that's what needs to be cut off. So what you do is you stick this in your um, table saw, run it along the guide with the blade just touching the side of here, and when it does, it goes down, cuts it off perfectly, and you flip this around, line it up again with the line on the, the deck, trim it off again. So here we go.
Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our headstock overlays. And what we need to do for this is measure the angle of the headstock. And what you use is this little bugger right here. Set your headstock here, set your neck here, and you read the gauge and it tells you how many degrees it is. I'm pretty sure it's about 17 degrees. And then um, I'm going to take these to our table saw, tilt the blades 17 degrees, and cut them off. And that'll give us perfect angle right here so the nut sits flush up against the door really. dry run here and as you see the nut will sit nice and flat up against that now nice This is where the opening is going to be. Now normally I would glue the overlay on first and then uh, drill a small hole and get in there with a, you know, a small saw blade and some files and open it up, but I think I'm going to pre-drill to these before I put them on. Just have it having, you know, a cleaner look. So. As soon as I figure out how I'm going to do that, we'll be back. I came up with. There it is. Take a look down here. It's nice. Right amount of space you can get in. Very good. Now, let me show you how I did it.
how sometimes the perfect tool for the job is something you would never think of. All right, here we are. Got them both cut. Now, uh, let's move them up. for today. Uh, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll glue up the other one and then we'll be back next time. So until then, be cool.